All right, uh, this is Able to Control Streak, and I am right here in front of the FFA Enrichment Center here in Des Moines, Iowa. And it is a little drizzling this morning, so I'm going to make this video quick. But I want to do a, a quick update each day, kind of auditing class, talking about what's being uh, said in the uh, classroom for the N4 Niagara certification. Uh, really excited about it. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm pumped up this morning is because of one question that I heard yesterday, and that is, Mr. Ramirez, would you like the Ford F-150 or the Chevy Camaro Supersport? Uh, yeah, I'll take the uh, Supersport, please. Thank you. And uh, the other thing that I thought was great was I rolled up here and I see a couple of Woodman trucks here. Props to Woodman because I actually watched their YouTube quite a few times saying, hey, how do I make an alarm? How do, how do I do this? And they actually have some really good videos there that <laughs> helped me get along, even if they didn't explain the answer that I was looking for as a kind of a technician side. They talk a lot about uh, what's on the side of a uh, customer or a building facility manager. But uh, man, they actually, their videos actually help me out. They point me in the right direction. So shout out to these guys. I'm gonna say hi to them once I go inside. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just kind of do a quick video each day, kind of talking about uh, you know the kinds of people that are in here because I think that's important. Are they new people that have never done Niagara at all? Or are they people like me who have been in the industry a while and just coming to get the certification and maybe pick up a few tips and tricks of moving around inside Niagara? So I think that's kind of important, as well as kind of what's what's the actual layout. I mean, you can look at a syllabus or a quick dis bullet point description, but I think it's important to actually discuss, you know, the kind of information they're delving out in this class in a five-day thing. It's a big outlay to a lot of small businesses when they have to fork out, you know, two grand, three grand to send somebody to training, and they want to know are they really going to get what they need to get out of it for the t their technicians. So uh, this is Abel Ramirez, the Controls Freak, and we'll catch you in the next video. Um, be sure to subscribe on YouTube channel. Hopefully I'll be popping out some more videos here uh, in the future, trying to get more involved, setting up my studio uh, at my uh, uh, office area, which thanks to uh, Paul Statt, who sent me here to the class and allowed me to have some room in the offices for that studio. So we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.